Hello everyone and welcome back to the Frame Channel. Our road-based infrastructure quite literally runs on tires. From the trucks used by haulage firms to carry goods, to the everyday vehicles we take from A to B, they are an integral part of our transport network. But what happens to these tires once they wear out? In this feature, we look at the powerful machines that can easily fold tough car tires for recycling. Recycling is an environmentally sustainable and cost-effective way to repurpose spent tires. Tires are made from tough and durable rubber, designed to hold their shape under harsh conditions. However, this rigid structure combined with its circular shape makes it difficult to store and transport. Tire packing machines help to solve this problem. Individual tires or small stacks are fed along a conveyor into an automated wrapping machine, which uses rotating attachments to wrap the tires in a plastic film rapidly. This keeps them tightly bound together and sometimes covers the central bore of the tire, creating a flatter surface. This process makes it easier to handle and stack the tires and transport them to recycling facilities. To maximize available warehouse or transportation space, tires can be packed together, one inside the other, in a process known as doubling. First, a tire is placed around two strong iron rollers that sit within its bore. A third roller, positioned on the tire's outer edge, is then pushed forcefully toward the center, folding it up as it moves. A second tire is placed around the outside of the folded one. Thus, two tires can be stored in one volume. Technological advancements also mean that tire tripling can be utilized to help save even more space by, you guessed it, crushing three tires into the same space. Once the packed bundles reach the recycling plant, they must be separated before being processed. The tightly packed doubled or tripled tires are prized apart with specialist hydraulic machinery. The packed tire is held in place and then stretched slightly to open the bore. A specially designed hydraulic hook then attaches to one of the condensed tires sitting inside the inner rim, lifting and pulling steadily to remove the folded tire from its pack. When all components of the bundle are separated, the tires can begin their recycling journey. Having been packed, doubled, transported, and then unpacked, these tires have endured quite a journey. Still, the recycling process has much more in store for these rubbery rings. Reducing them to a dust-like consistency requires specialist machinery. First, the individual tires are fed onto a conveyor system, which passes them through a set of primary shredders. The first set of mechanized blades to slice through the robust rubber rings. After this first shredding, any steel core material is removed by magnets and sent to its own recycling program. Next, the rubber is washed and fed through a grater that reduces them to no more than an inch in length. Granulator machines finally get to work. 
transforming them into granules, sometimes called crumbs. The crumb material results from this process can be used in recycled rubber products anywhere from construction and engineering to shoe production. Due to its many favorable properties, recycled rubber is becoming increasingly popular as an alternative to traditional flooring materials. For example, it is waterproof and non-slip, making it perfect for showers and bathrooms. It can also be dyed in a dazzling array of colors, enhancing its appeal in interior design. Furthermore, rubber shock and sound absorption qualities often make it the material of choice for gymnasium flooring. Its durability and low maintenance requirements give it an advantage over competitors such as wood or vinyl. Similarly, outdoor running tracks and playgrounds we see today often favor rubber, as it reduces the likelihood of serious injury from a trip or fall. Surprisingly, road resurfacing companies have begun adding this marvelous material to their asphalt product to absorb traffic noise and prevent surface damage. Nowadays, companies such as Enviro Paving can even cover driveways and gardens using recycled tire rubber. offering a greener and potentially longer lasting alternative to traditional asphalt paving. Recycling car tires are increasingly used to improve our urban and suburban landscapes. But what does the future of the tire recycling market look like? The sector is unsurprisingly on track toward healthy growth with the global tire recycling market set to enjoy a compound annual growth rate of 3.41% from 2021 to 2028. Forecasters predict that the industry's value will reach $4.6 billion by the end of this period. But what is driving the tire recycling market? Rapid technological advances and sustainability initiatives aimed at reducing carbon emissions favor tire recycling efforts over disposal. Rubber consumption from construction, which has versatile uses in flooring and enhancing asphalt products, makes this a growing marketplace for rubber crumb material. In summary, it seems that the tire recycling sector will continue rolling for many years to come. That's the end of today's feature on The Frame. Subscribe to the channel to see you in our next video.